Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions. You'll find out what a denominator is and what a numerator is. We'll practice counting on to add and counting back to subtract. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Let's practice adding and subtracting fractions. In this activity, we'll be working with fractions like two fifths and three quarters. We'll practice counting on to add and counting back to subtract. You might be able to do some of these in your head, but if you get stuck, use a number line. So here we have a number line and it's been split up into five, which means it represents fifths. And we can use it to add two fifths plus two fifths. So if you follow the number line and go to two fifths and then add another two fifths, you come to four fifths. Now four fifths is a proper fraction because the top number is smaller than the bottom. Here's another one with our number line. It's been split into four, so it represents quarters. And our sum is three quarters plus three quarters. The answer here is showing us six quarters. That doesn't look right. That's because this is an improper fraction because the top number is bigger than the bottom number. The correct way to write it is one and two quarters. When we add fractions like two fifths and one fifth, we look at the bottom number. This is called the denominator. The denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is split into. For example, in two fifths, the whole is split into five parts. So five is the denominator. The top number, two, tells us how many parts we have. That's called the numerator. If the denominators are the same, we can just count on the top numbers. To subtract fractions with the same denominator, we just count back. So you can see here, we've got two fifths plus one fifth, and all we need to do is two plus one. Two plus one equals three, and we know the denominator is five, so the answer is three fifths. To subtract, we can see here, we've got three quarters minus one quarter. All we need to do is three minus one, which is two, and we use the same denominator, which is four. So it's two quarters. Here's a question for you. So Mia adds two fractions and gets one and a quarter. Which pair of fractions could she have added? Now, if you need a moment to think, please pause the video. Our options are three quarters plus three quarters, or two quarters plus three quarters, or one whole and one quarter, or our final op option is one half and one half. The answer is one and one quarter. And our explanation is it was four quarters is a, is a whole, so that's one, plus one quarter is five quarters, but that's an improper fraction. So the correct way to write it is one and one quarter. Next question. Omar subtracts two sixths from five sixths. What is the answer? So all you need to do is deduct two from five and keep the same denominator. So our options are three sixths, seven sixths, one sixth, or two thirds. Pause the video if you need a moment to think. The answer is three sixths because all we needed to do is five minus two is three. That's our numerator and we keep the same denominator, which is six. Ella adds three eighths and four eighths. 
what is the total? So all you need to do is add up the numerators and keep the same denominator. Your options are seven eighths, one whole and one eighth, six eighths or eight eighths. The correct answer is seven eighths. And the explanation is three plus four is seven. That's our numerator. And we keep the same denominator, seven eighths. Jacob subtracts three fifths from one and one fifth. What is the result? Our options are two fifths, three fifths, one fifth or four fifths. Pause the video if you need a moment to work it out. The answer is three fifths. The explanation is one and one fifth is the same as six fifths. So all we need to do is do six minus three gives us three and that's our numerator and we keep the same denominator. So the answer is three fifths. Well done everyone. That's it on fractions for today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.